you know, understanding, really having clarity about, you know, what you mean when you use certain words is in part of that, you know, gom, um, meditation, practice, what that actually means seems really important. Rinpoche, is it, um, do you think that, you know, so when you teach, are you teaching like by deconstructing words? Is that one of the ways you teach? Or how do you how do you teach that? Okay, you're used to this word and this is what it automatically means for you, but let's deconstruct that. And Very good. This actually is a something that I am only recently beginning to do. I have actually recently told people anything that I have taught just about two years ago, disqualify them all actually <laughs> because i didn't understand you know when you know when you know when i say when i say when i'm i'm meant in j i meant tongue and then my word is like compassion emptiness i because i you know i've never paid any attention like like for instance people from europe these are these people have a background. They're not like, you know, like um, barbarian. You know, like they, you know, they they have a lot of culture. They have incredible strong culture. For them, it means something else. And especially, I think this is a joke I always make with many of my Western friends that. Um, Romantics, right? Uh, rational, rationalism. Wow. If only the West meets somebody like Chandrakirti. Because I think the West really loved reasoning. But they should have gone further. I feel that reasoning is also at the end of the day it's not perfect. Go further than reasoning. Yes. Nice. You know, yeah. this is what the Prasangika people do, right? They use other people's reasoning and defeat others. Yeah. 